Well, controversy has broken out over Anurag Kashyap's latest film, AK vs. AK, in which Anil Kapoor, the actor, can be seen donning the uniform. In fact, uh, those are snippets on your screen on, uh, of, of Anil Kapoor donning the uniform and the trailer, which he also tweeted a few hours back. And the Indian Air Force has officially responded to that trailer while taking complete objection to it. In fact, uh, let me read out what the Indian Air Force has said that the IF uniform in the video was inaccurately donned and the language used was inappropriate. This does not conform to the behavioural norms of those in the armed forces of India. The related scenes need to be withdrawn and they've tagged the OTT platform and also filmmaker Anurag Kashyap. Let me go across to Wing Commander Prafil Bakshi joining us on this broadcast. Uh, Wing Commander Bakshi, not the first time that, uh, at least in the recent past, that uh, you know we find ourselves in such a controversy especially when it comes to depicting depicting our forces Absolutely culture right. ethos of our forces and also the uniform yeah you saw what happened with gunjan saxena and now i don't know whether you've had the opportunity to see the trailer but i've seen the trailer the kind of language that's used etc i think the indian air force has taken a very strong stand and rightly so obviously they should have stand, taken a stand, and they have taken a stand. But the question is, uh, something is uh, something something is missing because all the movies which are involve armed forces have to be cleared. They have to take permission. No objection certificate is given, but somebody does not take because they say that the story is irrelevant. These shots are irrelevant, and here they hide behind this uh, network of words. That these sort of a people have to be, you know, brought to a halt. The question is, if the script has is cleared, and if uh, the uh, uh, shots, the Russians have been seen by the Air Force, the trailer has been seen and given a clearance. It is a department in the South Block, is under the Ministry of Defence, Public Relations. They have to give a complete clearance to this, and until that is given a clearance, no movies like this are shown. And whatever the objectionable parts are, they are removed and it is done every time. But some people do get away through shortcuts and whatever the case may be, the inquiry will go on and find out. And in case, in case there is a requirement, they will probably enact a, put a law, create a law that all films made on national subjects will be cleared by the government. Because which, which directly involves the national image the image of the armed forces, which is the image of the flag of India. And mind you, honor of India. They are not playing with just name of Air Force. They are playing with the honor of India. Somebody is playing with the name of his father, the name of his mother. It, it amounts to that. It also depends on what are the standards of our country. Some countries, this would have been taken very seriously. German, Germany, Israel, China. Yeah. Let me see anybody doing it. But is our standard so low that we just laugh it off? I don't yeah. think so. Something has to be done. And these uh, fancy actors and actresses, I don't blame Anil Kapoor because he didn't even know what is happening. Probably he doesn't understand. He, I mean, he doesn't have the understanding. It is the person who holds the key to the film, the, the producer, the director, or whatever they are, they have to be held up. It is their job uh, to have directed properly. And I think it's a very serious matter. And the film should be called to a halt. An entire movie should be seen by a panel of judges and tiered and so she should be good. You know, when Commander Bakshi, now, now, well, you feel that the filmmaker should be held responsible because perhaps, uh, you know, you also feel that uh, the actor wasn't fully aware. Uh, now, I have a question for you. Do you think... People in the film, film industry uh, or actors or those behind the screens or those on screens are really unaware of such a sensitive subject or do you believe sometimes they deliberately perhaps cross the line to garner attention and publicity? Now, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not limiting it to this issue alone, but there seems to be a trend over which I'm asking you this question. Yes, you're right. The both both hold true. Sometimes the actors and all want to, you know, come into limelight. Even coming through controversy, limelight controversy, they are in limelight. So some people are so desperate. But question is, I know that these actors 
yeah. when they get the script, they, they are working yes. in seven, eight films. They don't understand what is happening. But I don't say that they are not responsible. But the main responsibility lies with the owner of the film, the first person who is directing, who has written the script. And of course, Anil Kapoor, if he's accepted the script, he will also be answerable. But the question is, which is a greater wrong, which is a greater crime? Once you find out, yes, he will also be hauled up. He will not be let to go in case he understood what it is. Uh, mind you, say some, uh, if, uh, there are a lot of uh, actors who have not, who have cut, cut the uh, dialogue because of religious sentiments. They have cut the dialogue because of their uh, sentiments. It has happened. So question yeah. is, Mr. Anil Kapoor will also be answerable. But the question is, who, how did it, and by the way, they say that if they got the clearance, that who did they get the clearance? That person will be answerable, even in the Ministry of Defense. He will be answerable. It is not so easy. People can't get away. It is not like that. It's a proper inquiry will be given, uh, will be held. And thereafter, it will be done. Uh, at the moment, first thing is they should do, stop the further filming and you give them a notice and let the procedures go on and let the media be told what is happening. Let us not forget about it. It should be number one on the list of information to public. Yeah. Now, in this particular case, do you think they should go back on it? You think they'll withdraw, given what the Indian Air Force has said? Now, now just imagine in, in a situation where Wing Commander Bakshi, uh, if the entire film is based on a character, and from the little that I'm picking up, you know, from our team, uh, this is reportedly a film that narrates the story of a brash film director, uh, uh, the role which is here played by this filmmaker on the screen, who kidnaps the daughter of a popular movie star played by Anil Kapoor and shows the actor's desperate search for his daughter. Now, if the entire film is based on a character and, and, and throughout this uh, film, if Anil Kapoor, the character here, is donning the uniform and if, if the Indian Air Force strongly feels that, uh, you know, correction should be made immediately. In fact, the tweet of the Indian Air Force was, and I'm repeating it, the tweet of the Indian Air Force was... Uh, let me just read that out. The IF uniform in this video is inaccurately donned and the language used is inappropriate. This does not conform to the behavioral norms of those in the armed forces of India. The related scenes need to be withdrawn. Okay, I'm purely go going by the Indian Air Force's point of view. And, and we completely agree and back the Indian Air Forces. We completely stand with them. For us, it's forces first, no compromise. We've always believed in that. Now, if a film, the entire film has been shot in, 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 in this sort of a, an attire of, 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 in uniform of the Indian Air Forces. Now, do you believe they'll take it back? The question do is... Do you think they'll withdraw the film? I, I don't think it's possible. No, the question is, they should. There is nothing. The, the film has to be... The, the shots can, can be retaken. The number of films that are shots were uh, removed. They take the shot again. The question is, Indian Air Forces said that the first thing is... They're depicting the uniform in a very grossly wrong manner. Over and above, the person wearing a uniform is behaving in a very gross manner. That is what it is. That is the thing. Yes, there are a lot of, lot of Hindi films I've seen where the ribbons have been uh, put, uh, inverted, in a wrong place. The wing should be on the left, the wing is on the right. I, I, the people have made this mistake, I know it. Because they are civilians, they don't understand. Uh, even that could be objective too. But sometimes that is only a very minor error and is overlooked. But that, that calls for the standard of a country and a government. Are they ready to accept that? Some countries may, some countries may not. And I don't think so. Anybody who loves the flag of the country will accept it. And what is wrong in reenacting the scenes, reshooting a couple of scenes? As you are saying already, that this is not the main film about the Air Force officer. It is, he has only enacted a few scenes. Then he shoot back. That's all. Nothing else. Let him not. Let him not. Just fall and. Uh, yeah. That's all. You know, does not mean changing a film. So I think so. When, when uh, in one hand we are saying that he, it is not the yeah. main story. He is just enacting, probably acting as a, a sort of a character who's trying to get away or something fancy dress or yeah. whatever the case may be. Even in that. We cannot accept it. You can do anything else. 
not this. Uh, can, you, can you show a prime minister like this? Can you show the flag in the minister like this? You can't. Until you are making a cartoon. Uh, Hollywood cartoons have been there, I know it. But the question is, here the question is what Indian Air Force has objected is very rightly, that you cannot do this until and unless you are making some child's cartoon or something like that, where we keep showing people and a lot of countries don't even accept that. Even on cartoons, they can't accept certain subjects. Uh, it all depends on what is the standard of a country. It depends on that. How we look at our flag. How we look at the flag of the nation and the Air Force. Are we? Mind you, there are number one sons of the land. They lay their blood for the country. They have the right to save the honor. Every Indian Air Force is saying it very well. Uh, sorry, it means what it's saying. It has to be understood. Okay. I think, uh, uh, Wing Commander Bakshi, we will take this, uh, take this issue forward. I'll tell you why. Because it's not the first time that uh, filmmakers or people in Bollywood have taken the forces lightly. And for us, it's a very serious issue. Uh, there's a larger issue at play here. And we look at all those issues on prime time this evening. Wing Commander Bakshi, thank you for speaking to Republic TV.